Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today I will discuss about the factor necessary for erythropoiesis. Development and maturation of erythrocytes require variety of factors. These are classified into three categories. First of all, general factor. Secondly, maturation factor. Lastly, hemoglobinization factor. First of all, general factor. Here, diet, hypoxia, erythropoietin, endocrine hormone, vitamins, and erythropoietic growth factor are subdivided. At first, diet. Food containing essential amino acid or first class protein which is necessary for synthesis of globin part of hemoglobin. Hypoxia. Hypoxia is a potent stimulator for erythropoiesis. Then erythropoietin. This is a hormone which is released from hypoxic tissue of kidney and a small amount from liver. It directly stimulates the bone marrow to produce red blood cell. Let's discuss elaborately about erythropoietin. It is the most important general factor for erythropoiesis. It is a glycoprotein which mainly secreted from the endothelial cells of peritubular capillaries of kidney that means 90%, 10% from liver. Stimulate for secretion, hypoxia stimulate the kidney to release renal erythropoietic factor. Androgen also stimulate erythropoietin and thyroid hormone, cortisol, growth hormone also stimulate erythropoiesis by increasing oxygen consumption and thereby promote tissue hypoxia. Condition that decrease oxygen supply to the tissue that means high altitude, increase demand for oxygen in athletes, chronic respiratory disease that means COPD, anemia, prolonged heart failure. This is the causes of kidney and liver to release erythropoietin which stimulates the red blood cell production. This is a negative feedback mechanism. Within a few days, many new blood cells appear in the circulating blood. After secretion, it takes 4 to 5 days to show the action. What is the action? Actions are at first production of erythroblast. Secondly, development of pro into mature red blood cell through several stages. Thirdly, release of mature erythrocyte into the blood. In patient with renal failure, develop severe anemia due to inability of kidney to produce this hormone. Here, liver cannot compensate this. So, the patient with renal failure must be treated with erythropoietin injection and blood transfusion. Here the role of erythropoietin. Fourthly, endocrine hormone. There is no specific role of endocrine gland in blood formation, but some hormones such as androgen that means testosterone, thyroid hormone and ACTH which stimulate the bone marrow. Androgen stimulate erythropoietin production. Thyroid hormone, cortisol and growth hormone stimulate erythropoiesis. How? By increasing oxygen consumption, thereby promoting tissue hypoxia, which in turn stimulate erythropoietin production, so increase erythropoiesis. Then vitamins. Some vitamins are necessary for erythropoiesis. Deficiency of this vitamin causes anemia, which is associated with other disorders. Here, vitamin B12, which is required for DNA synthesis, and vitamin C for iron absorption and influence the folic acid metabolism. Here, vitamin C, riboflavin, nicotinic acid, pyridoxine are also essential for the formation of hemoglobin. Hemopoietic growth factor, colony stimulating factor, glycoprotein growth factor that causes growth and differentiation of stem cell. Hemopoietic growth factor or growth inducer are interleukin and stem cell factor. These factors induce proliferation of pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells. Maturation factors are vitamin B12, intrinsic factor and folic acid. At first vitamin B12 which is also called extrinsic factor. It is obtained mostly from diet. It absorption from intestine require the presence of intrinsic factor of castle. Vitamin B12 is stored mainly in liver and small quantities in muscle. 
when necessary it is transported to the bone marrow to promote maturation of the rbc it is also produced in large intestine by intestinal flora for absorption of vitamin b12 at first vitamin b12 combined with intrinsic factor which is also glycoprotein which form a complex that complex resists the digestion by git enzyme this complex is absorbed at the terminal ileum by pinocytosis vitamin b12 is transported to the liver where they store vitamin b12 is essential for the synthesis of dna in rbc its deficiency leads to failure in maturation of the cell so reduction in the cell division also cells are larger with fragile and weak cell membrane resulting macrocytic anemia so deficiency of vitamin b12 causes pernicious anemia vitamin b12 is also called anti pernicious factor secondly intrinsic factor of gastrin it's produced in the gastric mucosa by parietal cells of gastric gland it is essential for absorption of vitamin b12 from intestine in the absence of intrinsic factor vitamin b12 is not absorbed from the intestine which leads to pernicious anemia how in occur deficiency of intrinsic factor in severe gastritis ulcer gastrectomy then folic acid folic acid is also essential for maturation it's required for synthesis of dna in the absence of folic acid synthesis of dna decreases causing failure of maturation this leads to anemia in which cells are larger and appear in megaloblastic stage that means proerythroblastic stage anemia is due to folic acid deficiency is called megaloblastic anemia folic acid is present in green vegetables some fruits liver and meats it is easily destroyed by cooking deficiency of vitamin b12 could be due to deficiency in diet or the presence of git disease which interferes absorption thirdly hemoglobinization factor here iron vitamin c and copper cobalt and nickel calcium and magnesium ion iron is necessary for the formation of heme part of hemoglobin vitamin c and copper are necessary for absorption of iron from gastrointestinal tract cobalt and nickel are essential for utilization of iron during hemoglobin formation A healthy bone marrow is essential for production of erythropoiesis. So, if bone marrow is destroyed by X-ray, atomic radiation, drug, or malignant tumor, which leads to aplastic anemia. Liver is essential for erythropoiesis because it is the site of formation of globin portion of hemoglobin. Secondly, formation of 10% erythropoietin hormone. which is necessary for erythropoiesis thirdly it is the storage organ for the iron and vitamin b12 what is the changes occur in erythropoiesis reduction the size of the cell cytoplasm become more extensive and chromatin become progressively coarse and condensed disappearance of nucleoli and nucleus accumulation of hemoglobin cessation of mitosis and changes in the staining property of cytoplasm that means from polychromatic to basophilic to eosinophilic red blood cells are the most abundant type of blood cells that are manufactured in the bone marrow approximately 2.4 million new erythrocytes are produced per second okay so among the 100 trillion cells in human body approximately 25 trillion cells are red blood cell thank you for your patience hearing